welcome back to the channel guys wednesday morning so uh you know what time it is time to bring uh, our load of alfalfa to the sale barn so as you can see the hay shed hay barn here is dwindling uh, we got a couple partial rows and then we're down to the single layer on the last i believe it's 48 feet so we got 100 bales left in here and then uh probably have to do some transferring so it's nice once we get this to start to get this shed lower in the spring we can start parking some stuff in here to clean out some other sheds and uh we'll get this load loaded head out load it up it's pretty windy we actually uh got about two inches of slush last night uh, but Looks like uh, spring is finally here. I think uh, 40s for highs and uh, some sun, no snow in the forecast. I believe some rain at the end of next week. But uh, looks like spring is here. Got done bedding the cows. It's one uh, one problem with making such good corn stalks. These were made the last day. It was 70 degrees out. Corn was dry, so the stalks were really nice. But uh, you go through and bed the shed, and they work from one end to the other and just graze them and uh, eat 70, 60, 70 percent of them. So, I mean, it's saving on hay, so it's not all that bad, but just got to bet them more. Cows are just like people. They don't want to eat the same thing. Uh, you can have nice feed out there, but uh, other than alfalfa baleage, they'd eat that every day. So, that's gone before they even put a dent in the dry hay, but uh, as I was saying, they're just like people. They like the different taste. It's kind of funny. You'll be feeding nice hay all winter and then go throw a canary bale out there. And uh, they'll eat the canary bale first just because it's something different. Got the concrete scraped off. Nice and clean. There's a lot of melting going on today. About 42 degrees. So this is first calf heifer. Cows are getting close. Um, I don't think we're going to have any in a day or two, but uh, it would surprise me if we don't have any calves on the ground in a week. Starting to see quite a few bags and some loose rear ends. So, Anyways, this is what we set up for calving. It's a freestanding panel with uh, 
bottom three rails cut out of it. So this is what I was talking about. If you guys got confined cows, calves, you got to set up a pen for the calves to go on that the cows can't lay on them. I really uh, didn't think it would work as good as it did. I didn't think they would use it. But uh, to my surprise, it's quite funny how the, the calves find that opening and then they'll lay in here every night. Then we got another freestanding panel with a hinge gate over there um, and the chute in there. So if we have any calving complications or uh, well, probably the first calf effort is this year. We'll probably throw in here for the first 12 hours or so with the calf just to make sure they're sucking and uh, everything's going good. But got the chute in here. Um, we're missing a gate. I'm going to put a gate off the other side so it's kind of like a bud box. Get them in that corner and run them in a chute that way. So it's not perfect, but... Uh, Setup actually works pretty decent. So this is the bean stubble. We bedded the calf pen with it. And we will switch over here as soon as the first calf or two drops to uh, all bean stubble and wheat straw. Uh, it's a lot softer and uh, a lot nicer to calve on. So I learned that. Hoping, hoping for a uh, successful calving season this year. So, I don't know if you can see in the background, I don't know how the shadows are working on the camera, but we have a ton of snow yet. Uh, in the fields, I think we're sitting at 30, 35 inch of snow pack yet. So, even though it's really nice, there's a lot of snow out there. It's going to be a long time before we get in the field. Um, which is fine. It's Minnesota. It's not of the norm. So, and honestly... You'd be surprised we get some warm rain and some warm temperatures, how fast you can shrink 30 inches of snow. And uh, this year, the snow came heavy right at the beginning. So there actually isn't no frost under the ground. So uh, it actually is melting from the top and the bottom. Uh, the ground is warmer than the snow, so it's melting up through the bottom. You can really tell that in the driveways and then uh, the trip pass of travel, it's thawing underneath the ice. So... Other than that, not much new. I don't know, a couple of you guys might have caught it in this video. Uh, there is a new purchase on this farm. And uh, why don't you guys uh, do some guesses? We'll probably do on a video on it next week or something. But uh, yeah, we should do an, uh, well, I still got to do equipment tour. Everybody's hounding me for one of them. But uh do a purchase plan for the year. <clears throat> so inputs are uh, still going down, which is good. I think last time I checked the urea, they still don't. We're still we still didn't pre-buy all our urea because it still went it was going down hundred dollars a ton. Um, I believe it's close to six hundred a ton now. So yeah, but that's not uh, this isn't a crop video. This is cows. And uh, getting ready for calving. Still got to get rid of the bull. He's still in out with the cows. So he's right there actually. And then our second bull should show up closer to calving season. We have our name on another registered black Angus. So... Yeah, that's about all I got for you guys. You can still see right here by the water, still a lot of ice underneath, but everywhere else we're able to get down to concrete. I suppose I should show you the feed. Everybody else does it in these cow cattle videos, but this stuff is uh, some second cut teff, foxtail. Um, as you guys seen, this year wasn't a huge success on the teff. But uh, it made a lot of feed. And uh, that's what counts. Well, you're missing a tag. It's 100. So. Excuse me, ladies. This is uh, alfalfa baleage. This stuff was baled a little drier than I like. I was actually shooting for dry hay. But we had a shower coming in. 
and uh, decided to roll her up and wrap it. That's another video, um, why we do baleage. A lot of video ideas, just don't get to them. So, anyways, this stuff was, I don't know, 35, 40%. So, it, the stems are a little bit drier, but uh, they still love it. There's a ton of leaf in there. Just show you quick before I get out of here. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but uh, there's a good three feet of bedding in that shed, three and a half. So, we use a lot of bedding. But uh, it all goes back out to the field, and uh, it uh, keeps them healthy. You really can't in a confinement operation. You got to have good bedding, otherwise you will pay the price. Well, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, as I said earlier, comment down below what uh, what do you think the new purchase is. It'll be in next week's video. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow along for more. And uh, cabin season is uh, knocking at the door. Have a good week, everybody.